Can we take a minute to realize how clean this spot has stayed? What do you think, Viv? Can you sing? Say, it stays clean. Except this box. Doesn't this look like a horrible box? This is the last box from Vaughn's room, and the fact that I don't know what's in it probably means I could throw it all out and we'd all live happily ever after. But I'm gonna go through. This is like this periodic table chart. What is this? Oh, that's cute. I'm gonna use that. I bought this for the new house, and then I haven't even hung it yet. I like that. I also have. That is your Barbie house. I also have this one random box. Other than that, only two random boxes left that I have to sort through. That is winning. Oh my gosh, this is my first Cricut project ever. The little paper cutter. When I first got it, this was like a theme in there in the program already for free. It's made all out of paper. It used to hang in Vaughn's room. He used to always say, bye bye pain when he saw it. Anyways, good morning, good morning. Come on! I do have intentions of fixing my hair today because I have a Zoom call that I want to look somewhat decent for. I'm telling y'all, I have the organizational bug hard. What are you doing? Boom! I, I love it. Like, I love that I have it. I love that I'm ill with the organizational bug. Anyways, all that being said, I am literally going through every little spot. I have something in my contacts. It's driving me crazy. Like these are obviously not. <laughs> That's from a nativity set, a little nativity scene, that little barn thing. These obviously are not decorated, so I want to decorate them and dust them. But I also want to film that because the shelving tutorials was very high up on y'all's request list. I'll probably do that tomorrow, but I kind of want to get everything organized, like under here. Um, it's all diapers and stuff. It just doesn't look very pretty. But I even... Chicken. That is chicken. Sorry. Homegirl had a massive booger on her finger. That was priority for the second. I was saying I even went through all the play food. And I moved it from those me, big me. Bi those big bins <laughs> to under here. Um, and it kind of made sense too because the kitchen's right here. So it's kind of shielded. But this is all the play food. Those are the dishes. And this is like the wooden food. So I went through every single piece. And anything that looked like total garbage and needed to be thrown out, I threw out and only kept the really good pieces. Thank you for cooking me something. Anyway, so those shelves, the two boxes are on my high priority list. Yes, this is Christmas music because that's all Vivian wants to listen to. I'm also going to take Santa off the porch today. That's also what I'm going to do. I was not super active on DMs yesterday, so I'm kind of playing catch up with you guys. Um, catch up. But a couple days ago, I had a lot of questions specifically asking to reshare the set of three Amazon shelves. So in case you missed it, I'm going to reshare all the links for the kids' office space. Dang it. There's another random box. This has been here for weeks and weeks and weeks. And this is supposed to make it out its way out the door. This is another Mike CVS gift. A three-way poncho. I'm so close to being random box free. I can feel it. I'm so excited. Like, I can't even remember what it's like to not have a little laugh. Unboxed or unpacked boxes hanging over my head. I cannot wait. Haley and I were just talking about the deck. The deck is done. It's raining. The base of it is done, but we are waiting for materials to do the railing all the way around it. So right now we don't play on it. I spoke about this last time about how the deck ended up being way bigger than we anticipated. Like, what are we gonna do with it all? But so many of you guys said never to regret a larger deck and you'll use it with kids and birthday parties and having family over 4th of July and whatnot so um we were like okay what the heck do we do this is too much and then y'all really did kind of like change our our perspective on it so we're excited for it
Isn't it funny how like polar opposites people can like perceive stories? Remember the other lady was like, I cannot watch your stories. Your house is always a wreck. You always have an excuse and it gives me anxiety. Remember that? I typically don't show the negative, but that was hilarious to me because gosh, isn't it so true? It's crazy. Um, anyways, I feel like this week, honestly, this week has been the first week where I was just telling Mike yesterday, like I feel a sense of like, um, um, anxiety lessened and I think it's because I'm you know it's after so after we wrapped the show then we jumped into Christmas right everyone's busy with Christmas stuff then it takes you like two weeks to get over Christmas because you have to undecorate you have to put all the toys where they go like I don't know I just felt like I had to pick up from Christmas and now I'm finally getting in able to organize my stuff so all this to be said <laughs> my house is not perfect ever in any way shape or form but I'm trying my best so yeah, I know you guys can't feel this or like see it through these 15 second slides, but the past like three months I have literally felt like I'm drowning. It's, I will be the first one to tell you I had way too much on my plate. It's too much. And I love that now that I feel like I'm home and I'm getting my house out of boxes from when we moved four months ago, I'm organizing and I will say what I've kind of learned, which I already knew, but I'm relearning it as it's happening when you start organizing and you're decluttering and you're letting go of things from your house you really do it feels healthy like it feels so good so if you can even just go through one closet and donate stuff you get that sense of accomplishment as well as feeling good that you've donated anyways the afternoon rant that no one expected including myself <laughs> i um i will never ever ever have it all together but darn it i'm gonna try from the rambling redhead she showed how to do this and um you know it means i don't have to fold my jeans all i have to do is hang them up and it's easier to like see them so i'm here for it what not hanging oh not hanging not hanging mommy okay don't standing no standing not hanging no standing let's go park we're not going to park it's raining It is cold, you're right. My house, my cat. Hello. Hey, get up, get up, get up. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Not yet. Okay, what do we get? We got. Okay, remember how I said that the mac and cheese was horrible? Well, this one is not. If you are dairy free, gluten free, this stuff is real good. What else is in the old Thrive box? Oh, these are so good. They're just basically Cheetos, but an organic. An organic version, taco shells. I have not tried this. This is also for myself. Um, Gluten-free spaghetti. Chomps, of course. I got two different kinds this time. I got Italian style. Whenever I shared chomps, you guys told me Italian style was the best. So y'all influenced me to get that one this time. Some coconut oil potato. Tell me these don't look good. Buffalo ranch, cilantro lime ranch, all dairy-free, gluten-free and pizza ranch. Oh, I needed some sauces that weren't dairy free because dairy is literally in everything. I got this to go over my yogurt. <laughs> Thrive is the grocer that sends me my organic stuff. It used to be solely for Mike's keto food choices, but now I honestly shop it more for me, being dairy free and gluten free. You can shop by special diet, it makes it super easy. Um, anyways, I will link the discount code here. Right now, their special is 25% off your first purchase and a free gift. And Chomps is one of the free gift purchases. That's what you need to get. End of story, Chomps. You can swipe up here. Yourself in your dress? No. No, okay. You know she's gonna go out there and like start chopping. She's gonna be like, get the tap. <laughs> what does it look like where you live as far as like are your kids doing extracurriculars? Um, here in Texas, people have totally been back in like the extracurriculars, um, you know, with rules in place, but we have not been doing any of it. Like as a family, we've just not done it. We've this whole year, up until tonight, we have not done any extracurricular activities. So I'm kind of anxious to see, I'm not fearful, but I'm anxious to see like what is set in place, just masks or distancing, I don't know, should be interesting. Okay,